This is the story of David, a young shepherd boy from Israel, who defeated Goliath, a giant warrior. Our story happened a long, long time ago when Saul was the king of Israel. God was not happy with Saul as he had disobeyed him many times. God spoke to Samuel, an old prophet, and David was chosen as the future king of Israel. King Saul had a bad dream one day. He called for Samuel. Samuel, I feel troubled. I am having bad dreams. I feel somebody is trying to take away the control over my kingdom. It is just a dream, Saul. Calm your mind. How can I help you relax? I would like to hear some soothing music. Do you know of any good musician who can play for me? I know of a boy who plays the harp beautifully. I saw him in the house of Jesse in a nearby town. I'm sure he can help calm your mind. I'll send for him immediately. Okay, please ask him to come immediately. And so, Samuel had David brought to the palace. Even as a young boy, David was known to be a very good musician. He wrote songs and played the harp very well. The Philistines had been troubling Saul's kingdom for a long time now. They were always trying to take over the kingdom of Saul. The kingdom of Philistines was known to have many giants among them. Their soldiers were taller and stronger than most men. Their champion soldier was Goliath. Goliath was almost 10 feet tall and made the soldiers of Israel look like little mice. One day, Goliath walked up to the hills that divided Israel from the Philistines and shouted out challenges. No one from Israel responded as they were afraid of Goliath. The giant kept challenging the Israelites for almost 40 days. Two of David's brothers were in the king's army and they were fighting against the Philistines. With this threat of Goliath, the Israelite soldiers were starting to lose confidence day by day. They could not find the courage to face Goliath. David's father too was getting worried about his sons fighting in the army. It was during this time that David was serving the king at his palace. One day, his father asked David to carry some food for his brothers. So David went to the battlefield carrying the food that his father gave him. When he arrived, he saw that his brothers were terrified. It was then that he heard Goliath's challenge. Shame on you, Israel. How long will you keep me waiting? Isn't there anyone who has the courage to stand before me? You are not men, but sheep. <laughs> What is happening? Isn't there anyone to face this man's challenge? We cannot risk losing against him. He's too big and strong for us to fight. If we lose, our kingdom will be lost forever. Nonsense. This man is insulting our king and our whole country. This cannot be allowed. I will fight this man and defeat him. Ah, little brother. You are brave but also foolish. The king will not permit you to step into the battlefield. You are not a soldier. You are a shepherd. You may be good with a harp, but you cannot carry a sword. You are just a little boy. Go back to father and give him our news. I am going, dear brother, but I promise I will come back. I will get the permission of the king and come back to slay this monster of a man. God is with me. He will help me defeat this giant. He will give me the strength. David went back to his father's home and gave news of his brothers. Then he went to the palace and asked for permission to speak to the king. Yes, David, you may go back to your father now and tend to his sheep. I do not need to listen to your music right now. We are in battle against the Philistines. 
I need to find a way to win this war and save our kingdom from these evil men. I will send for you when I need you. O oh, king, I have not come to play music. I wish to serve my country on the battlefield. I shall defeat Goliath. I have come to get your permission to step on the battlefield and end this war once and for all. Son, I admire your spirit, but I cannot give you permission. You are just a boy. My most feared fighters have not been able to tackle Goliath for more than 40 days now. If I allow you, then it would be like I'm sending you to your death. Your soldiers may be afraid of him, but I have no fear. The Lord watches over me all the time. I may be a shepherd boy, but please have faith in me. I have killed many lions and wolves that attacked my sheep. I have not lost even one of my sheep to them. My God has given me the strength to fight my enemies, whoever they are. I am sure he will give me the strength to defeat this giant too. Please give me a chance to save the honor of my country. I promise I will not let you down. Hmm. Your courage is truly inspiring, my boy. I am moved by your trust in God and the loyalty you show to your country. I am giving you permission to fight Goliath, but you must wear this armor. It will protect you from his heavy blows. Also, take my sword with you. It has never failed me in my battles. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will not waste this chance to serve my country. I do not need your armor or the sword, my king. They are too heavy, and they will only make it difficult for me to fight the giant. I will now take your leave. Thank you again for your permission. God be with you, my boy. David was a young boy, the youngest of his brothers. He could not serve in the army as he was not old enough, but he had the courage of the bravest soldier. He had complete faith in God and believed he would be protected against all dangers. He was absolutely certain that he could defeat Goliath. David had excellent aim. He carried a sling with him all the time. As he reached the river to cross to the gates, he picked up some pebbles from the riverbed. He held the stones in his hand and then put them in a pouch he had tied to his waist. So, armed with just his sling, David stepped into the battlefield to take on Goliath. As he reached the field, he could hear the booming voice of Goliath yet again. You cowards, where is your man? If you do not send your fighter now, I will come over and kill every single one of you. You have tested my patience enough. Hey you, over here. I will fight you. Ha ha ha, you joke well. Run away, little boy, before I accidentally step on you and kill you. I'm not going anywhere, you idiot. I am here to fight you and beat you to the ground. You have been insulting my king and countrymen for too long. We are not afraid of you. We just don't take your threats seriously. You're now becoming too much of a nuisance for us. This will end today. Today, Philistinians will become our slaves. My God protects me from all evil. He will help me to silence your threat forever. You cannot be serious. Have you lost your mind? Have your parents abandoned you? Do not test my mercy. Send a real man to fight me. You dare to insult me? Why do you talk so much, you ugly giant? Are you afraid of me? I am more than enough for you. If you cannot fight me, then surrender to us now. That is it. Be ready to die now, little boy. Goliath ran towards David, lifting his spear high over his head, ready to strike little David dead. When he was close enough, David placed a stone on his sling and took aim. Then he pulled it back with all his strength and said a prayer to God. He let go of the stone. The stone hit Goliath straight between the eyes, making a deep cut. He stopped stunned and not believing what just happened. He then dropped to his knees and fell over, his face buried in the sand. 
The Israelites were watching them from the hills. There was a moment of silence when Goliath dropped to the ground. They could not believe what had just happened. Then there was a huge cry of victory from the soldiers. They ran to David and picked him up. They placed him on their shoulders and marched back to the palace singing praises to their new hero. David, David, they chanted. David the giant killer. Thus David became the hero of Israel, the slayer of Goliath. He would later on become king of Israel and rule the country for many, many years to come, loved and respected by everyone.